What's up guys? All right, back for another video. Today we are gonna replace the 300ZX uh, brake master cylinder. So I'm guessing this is what the problem is why my brakes aren't working on my 300ZX. Obviously you can see down there, it's probably been leaking for quite a while now. Um, if you look all the way down there, you can see how all the paint has been coming off. So that's been telling me it's also been leaking because brake fluid, especially DOT3, eats away at your paint. So I'm going to uh, replace this and then uh, bleed the brakes and bleed the master cylinder as well. And then uh, hopefully my brakes will work again. But I'm also going to clean up this area because obviously it's pretty dirty over here. Um, probably clean the, my uh, reservoir up a little bit as well. And uh, yeah, I'll kind of show you the process and stuff like that. It's fairly easy. Basically, uh, you got your three, uh, let me get this connector out of the way. You got three brake lines over there that you gotta take off. And then there's two bolts on each side. And then, obviously you gotta drain it too. So, um, best way to drain it is to, I'm gonna take this wheel off and then at that caliber, I'm just gonna drain all the fluid out of it. And uh, then it should be pretty much all the fluid out of it just by taken out of that front caliber and then um, yeah and then replace it and then re-bleed the system and then hopefully it'll work all right guys so here's the mess cylinder out so as you can see it was leaking everywhere inside there um, just try to clean up the area a little bit while I have some free room and here is the old one as you can see it's seen as days um, this mass cylinder is probably around like 30 years old. So I'm pretty sure this was the problem, but we'll see when we put it back in. But yeah, so I'm going to end up cleaning up around the brake booster just so I can tell if there's any more leaks in the future. And then um, after that, I'll put the new one in. It came out really easily too. It's only the three lines, which is as you see right there, and then those two bolts, and it pops right out. And then you just take the new one and put it right in, and then you have to bleed the master cylinder and then bleed all your calibers. And then you'll be good to go. And I'll show you that when we get done. All right, so we got our old button back up now. This is the brand new one looks like. As you can see, it's, it's almost clear where the fluid is. And, uh, we bled it all out of mass cylinder, we bled all the brake lines, and uh, there was nothing but fluid come out, so the pedal definitely feels stiff right now, so it should work perfectly. Um, I think this actually definitely solved the problem. But yeah, I'll let you know when I get done driving it, but other than that, looks pretty good. Glad I replaced it. All right, so we got that 300ZX back out on the road, and uh, Feels really good, especially because I haven't been able to uh, test out the uh, all the new suspension I did, all the energy energy suspension bushings I did, all those polyurethane thing bushings. Um, they feel man, they make this car feel a lot better. It's not as sloppy as it was. As it was. You know, it's not like direct up my 370 is, but it loads loads times better. It doesn't have that that memory steer either. But yeah, the car just feels so much better now. It breaks. It's awesome. So it's a master cylinder that whole time. But yeah, the car feels good. Feels good to get back on the road again. It's been a while, it's been at least a couple of months. But uh, definitely feels a lot better. I still gotta do all the rear polyurethane thing bushings and stuff like that. Um, but once I get those done, I mean, I do need to do shocks and springs on here. You do coil, uh, they do have coil set up for this, but you have to customize your own struts to fit it. You basically have to cut off some of your, like, half your bottom part of your strut, and then weld all the top part of your coil over to do it. But uh, I'm still having debated on how long I want to keep this car for, though. I might keep it forever, and I might not. I haven't decided yet. But it runs good now, so I'm gonna start driving it quite a bit. And uh, try to keep some of those miles off my 370. So I just, that's my daily, and if 
my 370 just racks up so many miles so fast. So, and this car needs to be ran. But, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of things replaced on it. So now I have brakes, rotors replaced, brake mat cylinder replaced, alternator replaced, um, all vacuum lines replaced, a lot of miscellaneous just hoses inside of the engine bay replaced. Transmission fluid flush, dip fluid flush, oil change, brand new battery, all part of the bushings in the front at least. Um, what else have I done? New tires. Oh, brand new rack and pinion, brand new rack and pinion bushings. So this car's pretty much in good working order. It's a clean car too, so. That needs a wash for sure, but uh, other than that, I might, I'm kind of, oh yeah, I did a, I also rebuilt the turbo in here, so it's a back of T3, but I rebuilt it. Um, also, uh, put all brand new gaskets on there, all the oil feed and water feed lines to the turbo are all brand new. Um, it, it was all just like, that old turbo had a bad line in it, and it threw oil everywhere, and it was, it was caked on there for years. So I cleaned all that up. Um, I mean, it passed the mission. Oh, I put brand new plugs, wire, uh, smart plugs, smart plug wires. Uh, I cleaned out all the, uh, or I cleaned off all the uh, the ground lines everywhere. So it has all nice good grounding on there. It passed the missions last time easily. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good running car. So see what else we do with it. I kind of want to throw a, uh, a manual uh, a boost, uh, not a boost gauge, but a, uh, a boost controller, maybe a boost controller there, and just throw up the boost a couple of pounds, maybe get a little bit quicker. But other than that, and like some new wheels on there, stuff like that, I mean, I don't know how much more I'm going to do on this car. It just depends. If I keep the car, I'll do a lot more to it. If I don't, I'll just keep it how it is. Um, also, too, I was kind of getting the idea of maybe because in, in Japan these 300 CXs they actually came with RB motors in them. So I was thinking about maybe I'll do uh, take the BG out and throw an RB in here, which is cool. You never see that here in the states. A uh, RB 300 CX, and in Japan they come with RBs too. They're called 200 CXs. Um, so I might do that too. We'll see. Just depends. But uh, when I get back, I'll do some reps for you. The exhaust, I mean, it's stock exhaust, so it's not really loud or anything, but I'll let you know how it sounds and stuff like that. And I'll be about it for this video. I mean, the car's up and running again, so the next thing I'm going to be doing, uh, next video you'll see will be that C-Speed Shield. I do have that now. Um, I was going to film it and do it last weekend. Um, and you'll see when I put the video out um, and I actually have switch days because uh, this battery actually drained so I couldn't move the car out of the way to put my 370s at the garage to actually put that Z-Speech undershot on my car so that's why it's going to be two different days of me doing it it'll be the first day was when I picked it up and I was going to do it but then I couldn't because I couldn't move the car and then uh, I think Monday or maybe possibly tomorrow I'll end up putting a Z-Speed shield on there and then that video will be up pretty soon too and then after that will be the springs that I'm going to do on the 300 or sorry on the 370 the Swift the Swift uh, Spec Mars 